Okay, so by the time you take this course, you should be at least familiar at a basic level with the idea of supply and demand. The demand curve here represents the buyers in any market. These are the people that are giving up dollars in order to get whatever it is that we're talking about. And the supply curve would be the producers. All right? These are the people that are selling or whatever it is we're talking about. In other words, they're the ones who receive dollars and give up what we could call economic goods. Now, in every market that we've ever talked about in, in any economics course, we understand the idea of shifting these curves. So if the demand were to increase due to perhaps some change in uh, income or a change in the number of consumers in a market, what we would do is simply shift the demand curve straight over to the right, okay? And as a result, the equilibrium price would shift up and the equilibrium quantity would also increase. So what I wanna do is give you my four-step plan for understanding any single shift in any curve whatsoever. Step one is always going to be to draw the graph. Step two is always going to be uh, to figure out uh, which curve is moving, right? In this case, it will be either the demand curve or the supply curve. Step three, which way will it move? And then finally, step four is going to be to read uh, changes in price and changes in quantity from the graph. <clears throat> okay, now the trick is to do these four steps in order. If you do them in order, you will get all of your questions correct. Okay, so let's do uh, a different example. So let me just kind of clear the board real fast, and there we are. Okay, <clears throat> now, so let's pretend instead of a uh, change in, in the number of consumers, what if instead there was some improvement in uh, medical care delivery or the medical care provision? Well, in this case, right, we've drawn the graph so far. There's an improvement in the technology involved in producing healthcare. So that's going to affect the supply curve. Because it's an improvement, the supply curve is going to increase, which means it's going to move to the right. Okay, so let's do that. And what we can see is then step four, we can see that the change in quantity, we're going to see an increase in the amount of, in this case, health care available. And we're going to see a decrease in the price. Okay, so this four-step plan really does help you boil down what you should be doing and how you should be thinking about things. Let's do another example that's perhaps a little bit more complicated. Okay, so now let's do something that's going to hit perhaps a little bit closer to home. Let's pretend that we get hit with a global pandemic, because we've never heard of that before, right? And as a result of this global pandemic, more people are going to need health care than ever before. However, in order to keep the doctors and the nursing staff and all the other medical professionals safe, we impose serious restrictions on who can work, when, and how frequently. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to say <clears throat> that there's a higher number of people who want health care, but it's now more difficult to provide that health care. Okay? So let's break this out into two different puzzles. First step, figure out which curve is moving. Well, if more people are going to want health care, that's an easy one. We should see an increase in the demand for health care. <clears throat> okay, so we understand that. However, if we're changing the means by which health care is allowed to be provided, again, in order to make everything safer, what that's going to do is it's actually going to decrease the supply of health care. So we would shift the supply curve to the left. Okay. So what we'd be doing is we'd be moving from our initial equilibrium point here 
out to this new equilibrium point here, and then back up to the left to our final equilibrium point right here. So let's think about this. How can we read changes in price and changes in quantity from the graph? Well, it should be fairly straightforward that price is going to go up. So we understand that. But what about changes in quantity? Now, I have deliberately drawn this example to show you that this, in this case, there is effectively no change in quantity whatsoever. However, we should be very careful in concluding that there is no change because it depends on how much the demand curve shifts out to the right compared to how much the supply curve shifts to the left. If the demand curve shifts further to the right than the supply curve, so for example, <clears throat> if we had a big increase in demand here and only a very small increase in supply or decrease in supply, well then we would get an increase in price but an increase in quantity. Conversely, if we had a very small increase in demand but a very large decrease in supply, well then that would be something like this and we would see our equilibrium point being here and we would get the increase in price but we would have a decrease in quantity. So in this case, when the curves are moving in opposite directions, the change in price is going to be very clear. The change in quantity, however, is not going to be clear at all. 